Chuck, I want to change uh, gears here just a little bit. Look uh, towards 2016. Now, we're, we're hearing a little bit that there seems to be a big knife fight developing between the uh, Jeb Bush team and the Chris Christie team on donors. <laughs> Are you hearing anything about this? Look, I, I, I wouldn't call it a knife fight. I mean, I think it's, it's you know, they, I think the, uh, you know, I, I, I think Christie's going to be on the losing end of this. I mean, look, what, what Jeb Bush did, and is I think Jeff knew that a lot of people were skeptical if he was serious. Okay, um, I certainly was a skeptic. I certainly talked to people close to him that made me feel comfortable being uh, a sort of a 55% skeptic, meaning I was, you know, more convinced he wouldn't than would. Uh, and donors were in that same place. And in order to make them believe, he had to go early. They wanted to believe. Well, he did. And so this was about sending a message to Christie and Romney, okay, stop, stop talking, down, talking me down to these donors, because they're all, they're all fishing in the same donor pond, the three of them. So, and all this stuff is a circular telephone and all. I mean, it is gossip central in that world. Um, Jeff really made life miserable for both Christie and, uh, and, and Romney right now. So it's, it's getting cutthroat then in that, uh, in that small pool of uh, the large donors then. Well, it's a, but yes, but it's a it's a large pool. I mean, look, Jeb Bush basically is the number one fundraiser right now. Will end up being the number one big fundraiser in Texas, the number one big fundraiser in Florida, the number one big fundraiser in California, uh, and he might end up being the number one guy in, in even in uh, Wall Street in, in, in New York. Because remember, a sitting governor has to be careful who he raises money from on Wall Street. It's a it's a big a little bit of an arcane issue, but there's a there's there's a lot of issues there with sitting governors when it comes to raising Wall Street money, so right. uh, on what's legal and what's not, even when and when they're running for president. So, you know, Jeb Jeb is in the full position financially in ways that that uh, I think both Christie and Romney hoped they could have been that guy. I am very surprised to hear that. Actually, it's been 14 years since Jeb's run for any office. Well, nobody's nobody's worried about that. It's always been strong. Look, I think. I, I look. I think we're just talking about money. I'm with you. Uh, I think he could be out of shape politically. Um, he certainly has issues with base conservatives. I'm going to have a little chart actually on Sunday that I'm going to show folks that shows that uh, among Republican primary voters um, that we surveyed, you know, he's fifth among Tea Partiers. Okay, when it comes to could find themselves supporting fifth. Okay. He's first or second among every other demographic group in such Republicans, but fifth among Tea Party or, you know, folks that call themselves or, or are supportive of the Tea Party. Well, that's your that's your sort of populist grassroots conservative. And that's where he's got the problem. But Ed, if you're advising him, if you want to be the nominee, what do you do? Get in early and start dealing with your problems. Well, what's Jeb doing? Getting in early uh, and seeing how deep his problem is.